Welcome to the FT9XX Active Image Display application example. Download the source code free from bridgetech.com. Navigate to our website and click on support, then software examples, then FT9XX software examples. Then click on D2XX Active Image Display. Here you can download the application note as well as the source code. Save it onto your PC, ready for importing into the tool chain. Now import the project into the free FT9XX tool chain. Double click on the tool chain icon from the desktop. Now under File, select Import. Then under General, select Existing Projects into Workspace and browse to the location where you downloaded the source code from. This will import two projects into the Project Explorer. Note for FTTY USB you need MinGW installed. This is optionally available to build. Now build the FT9XX source code. So you can also select the FT900 or FT930 device and then click on the build icon. This will generate the .bin file to be programmed into the IC. Now connect all the hardware together. Here we have an MM900 EVXA connected to an EVE ME812A module which is also connected to the UMFT PD2A debug module. Now program the hardware with the example code. So launch the programming utility from the desktop and program via the one wire interface. This will find the FT930 or FT900 IC via the UMFT PD2A. Now select the binary file which was generated using the tool chain to be programmed into the IC and also click verify to check that programming has been ok. The progress will be shown as well as a green tick to show that the verification has been successful. Now if you look at the UART0 output you can see that the example is running. And if you check Device Manager, you can see the FT9XX D2XX interface is available to the PC. Now it's time to run the example. Note that PhantomJS has been downloaded externally and placed into the PC folder of the project. And you can use FTTY USB to check the available devices. The last one shown is the FT900 D2XX interface. And you can use a command as detailed in the application note to send images to the FT9XX. Now if we look at the EVE screen connected to the FT9XX development module, first we have to calibrate the screen. And you can see it is waiting for images. So if we use a command prompt like we did earlier to send images to the screen, they will eventually appear. So here we have the BridgeTech website and you can also interact with it on the screen.